everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you've been watching my videos recently, you'll know that Catherine has moved her two ponies to the yard. So I thought it'd be about time to do a new winter morning routine because now we've got five horses at the yard, ranging from Shetland to Sammy, who is 16-3, maybe bigger. Shh, let's not tell anyone that. And also a huge range of ages from Squeaky being three to Maria, who is now 19. I think Tiny's even older, but I'm not entirely sure of his age. But let's get on with the video because it's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> It's Vlogmas. I'm gonna try and actually do it this year, but anyway, we're going to start by feeding all the horses. Well, not all of them, just Maria and Squeaky, because they're the ones that are inside, because we're actually stable sharing at the moment. So I'm just gonna mix up all the feeds for their apples and carrots, and then it's time to bring them across to feed them. So Squeaks I normally feed first because he's closest. Um, this is Squeaky, he's the three-year-old, and then in goes his bucket, and then I'll just grab Maria's, and then I'll feed her. Breakfast! So while the horses are busy eating their breakfast, I'll then start doing some of the yard jobs. So I like to just take down the hay nets while they're eating just because I've got a little bit of time. But they are quite quick at munching, so it doesn't take them long to finish their breakfast. And then I'll just start sort of getting them ready to go out in the field. So before the horses go outside, I always pick their feet out and Maria this time I put out first and then Squeak followed. But sometimes they go out together because they are actually becoming rather good friends. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> and then I'll just grab Squeaky okay, let's and go pop him out. Squeaky in the field. out. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Much better behaved. So with Squeaks outside, it's then time to get on with the stables because we need to bring three horses inside. Luckily we did Tiny's last night, but this is Squeaks fed, which can be a little bit messy. So I'm just digging up the back banks to just make sure there's no poo hidden underneath because I just quite like to walk it in. I then also tuck this little string up, which you saw his hay net hang on, because when Sammy's in, he's so tall his ears tickle on it and he finds it a little bit distracting. I was a bit... I don't know, I couldn't really do it today, so I had to put the steps up. Then I go on to Maria's, um, which is also Percy's bed, and she's very tidy, so it's very quick. Um, and then I'll just grab some hay for the big boys. So Percy normally gets two slices, and Sammy gets three, because he's a little bit bigger. Um, and then I just sort of fluff it up, so you'll see in a second. Yeah, I just sort of shake it, and then it's all a bit nicer for the boys. I'm also carrying tiny hay now, because I don't think I put it in last night. So then time to redo the water, so make sure that's nice and clean, especially as they are all sharing waters. It's just better hygiene. I'll then make up the breakfast for the boys so pop some apples and carrots in just like for maria and squeaky and then it's time to go and catch sammy so he normally is waiting by the gate and i'll just let him in <laughs> so this is from a slightly different day this video but i thought it was really funny so i thought i'd share it with you i put a whole apple in his feed instead of slicing it up and bless him he was so confused use um he does know how to eat apples um when i first got him he had no idea how to eat an apple or a carrot so i'm really glad that he's like knows how to figure out how to eat an apple now but yeah i just i thought it was a little bit funny but i went to catch percy and then i bring him in i also like he's also got some food in his bucket and carrots and apples and stuff but when he's busy munching i'll then go outside and grab tiny the shetland so i also put his little chain up so you can have a little look out but yeah i'll grab tiny put his zapper off um, and then he's also normally waiting patiently there by the gate. He's so cute. He looks like a pom-pom in this weather, the way he sort of like fluffs up. Um, so you see Percy as a little golden child, the way that he just stands there looking out over his little chain. I'll then go in and change their rugs. So Sammy was quite wet today with his rug, so I'd probably leave up to dry. And then I'll just go around, pick out all their feet. And then, yeah. Whoa. After giving Sammy some cuddles and some TLC, I'll then go in and change Percy's rugs. Um, and then he's got little beats that I take off as well. Do his little feet. He's very cute. And then I'll just go hang up and grab their inside rugs so that, you know, they can be nice and cosy inside. So Percy's got a little magnetic rug. And then he's also got normally like a, I don't know, a little comfy thing to go on top to keep him nice and snugly and warm. I think I also did Sammy's, but I haven't got to film it. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, oh my God, it was so cold though today that like the water had frozen over and there were icicles everywhere. So I then just had to take them out and sort of smash them because I don't know, I don't like leaving ice in the waters. So um, 
and then I went to pee pick. This was later in the day, but I didn't really video me pee picking because it is quite boring. Maria did help though, and then nice little wheelbarrow, and I'll just maybe go dump that. And then that is basically the morning all done. I don't really know what else to say, really. <laughs> so today is a completely different day. But seeing as you guys were so interested in the mechanical horse, I thought I'd take you along with me to go ride it. And yeah, I mean, this is still technically part of a morning. It's just not happens every day because I don't have a mechanical horse at the yard. But I'll tell you a little bit more about it because that is a lot of views and there's a lot of new guys here. So yeah, let's go ride a mechanical horse. Why on earth was I riding a mechanical horse? And why on earth did 250,000 of you watch it? I mean, I'm very happy that you did, but wow that is a lot of people anyway back on topic mechanical horses so recently mainly because i thought i'd be riding less but now i'm back to riding four or five horses a week which i can't really complain about but like it's like it's actually incredible sorry um i kind of keep going off topic but yeah i've started working out more and exercising more and part of my program was to see how it impacted my riding and the most scientific way to do that was to get on a mechanical horse most horses, like us, are more one-sided, which can affect our riding, but as this horse is a literal robot, all disparities are entirely my fault. I did three tests without seeing the screen, and one where I could see what the sensors were reading, and I'll put them up on screen so you can see how one-sided I am. Apparently the saddle puts your weight a little further back than centre, so please don't really read into that as much. All in all, it was a really incredible experience, but it felt like no other horse I've ever ridden. I think it's meant to exaggerate every movement, so they can just a lot bigger, and yeah, I don't really know, but if it was a real horse, I'd probably want to send it a bit more forward, like it felt a little bit stuck in itself. Um, but no, it was a very good experience. It was a little bit weird not having something underneath me that would react to like, my leg and my hand and my core raid. Um, but it was really cool, really fun, and I would recommend it if you were thinking about going to see one.